Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube, where the watches are the stars. It's Alexander speaking and on your screen you do see the new Tudor Pelagos FXD Foxtrot X-Ray Delta. The watch was just released a couple of days ago. It's a diver, a full titanium case and all the particularities of this watch you will be able to discover in our video in 4K quality as always. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you are more into reference numbers, and I know some of the Tudor fanboys do, so the reference number of this watch is 25717 November. It is a diamond waterproof up to 200 meters and it's a full titanium case. Unfortunately, Tudor did not tell us what titanium they are using, if it is a grade two or grade five. I assume it's grade five because it's simply the better quality. So I assume that Tudor has been using a grade five titanium. It is a 42 millimeter case. The thickness of this case is 12.75 millimeters. And the so-called lug to lug distance you already see that there are no typical lugs and spring bars. It's a bit of a different uh, construction here and you will see all these details just in a moment. So the lug to lug distance or let's say the length of the entire watch measured from here to here is 51.5 millimeters, 51.5 millimeters. I said it before, a titanium case, so it is pretty light, 73 grams, the watch head. If you add the fabric strap that comes along, that adds another nine grams, so we are up to 82 grams in a total. A light watch on the wrist, you don't feel it very much and it wears very comfortably. 22 millimeters is in between the lugs. And something I now very often mention is the diameter of the dial or the dial aperture. And guess what? It's 31.9 millimeter only. So what you see and what you read from this diameter here is 31.9 millimeter and the total diameter of the case, excluding the crown of course, is 42 millimeter. Is there a see-through case back? Obviously not, as you see. Is the case back also made out of titanium? No, it is not. This is stainless steel. What do we read? Calibre, Manufacture, Tudor, Genève. So there is nothing particularly mentioned on the backside, just that it features an in-house movement. Which one is it? It is the MT5602. As you can clearly see, there is no date indication on the watch. This might, for some of you, be a disadvantage. For me, it is absolutely not, because I very much like this clean dial. And before I say more about the Manufacture Tudor 5601 Calibre, I just wanted to mention it is a matte, matte black dial with an extreme strong bright white contrast. So the readability from this dial is simply incredible in all light conditions, including the loom shot you are seeing right now. Wow, really, really cool, I have to say. Heads off, you've done a great job, Tudor, here. The readability couldn't be better. So let's come quickly back to the Calibre 5602. It is a self-winding automatic movement from Tudor with a power reserve of 70 hours. It is officially, and this is also mentioned on the dial, it is an officially certified chronometer by COSC, the Swiss Chronometer Testing Institute. COSC guarantees minus four plus six seconds, but for Tudor this is good enough. They do improve the accuracy to minus two plus four, that's pretty something. Every single second needs very much additional work one has to do to guarantee this accuracy. So minus two plus four is the accuracy. It features a silicon air spring and the balance wheel oscillates at 28,800 semi-oscillations of four hertz. Oh, 
how waterproof is this diver from Tudor? It's 200 meters, also indicated on the dial, 200 meters or 660 feet. The crown is a screw down crown and those who are a little bit aware also of the shape and the design of Rolex cases will of course say, yeah, this looks like a Rolex case. Of course it does because History wise, this is a watch that goes back on the Tudor Submariner and this has, yeah, more of the history just in a moment. Okay, let me just finish my presentation of the watch itself. Here we do have a screw down crown, of course, unscrewing it. You can see that now it is unscrewed and if you open up, you see hacking seconds. The central second hand has stopped. What would have been nice, just a little mm, remark here, there could have been kind of a red indication when you do unscrew the crown as other watches do have such things. Meanwhile, let's say little alerts that should remind you to screw down the crown once you open it and you probably forgot to do so. Just some pieces in red inside here. This would have given another security to tell you, okay, oh, the crown is still open, let's close it. It could have. So once you push, let me show you, of course, the central second hand begins to swipe again over the dial and then what you do is you screw down and once you did, the case is waterproof up to 200 meters or 660 feet. The watch features a unidirectional basal. This means it only turns counterclockwise with 60 clicks and let me show you, so you have one, two, it's always one second you're clicking, not a half of a second, so you have exactly 60 clicks. Nice, uh, let's say even very good haptic for such a watch. And if I go back, also the sound is, yes, the sound is also a good one. And I will set it back to zero. You can see once positioned, it is precisely aligned, perfectly done as, yeah, what else do you expect when Tudor is launching such a watch? I am sure some of you already asked the question, Alexander, please tell us the inlay in the basal, aluminum or ceramic. It's a ceramic inlay in here. And as you already were able to see, there is lots of super luminova spread all over. So in the loom shot, we saw the entire basal glooming very nice. So yeah, readability from the entire watch. Couldn't be better. I have to repeat myself. Titanium basal with a ceramic inlay and filled up with lots, lots, lots of uh, premium uh, Super Luminova. The Tudor Pelagos FXD comes with two straps, normally with the one you do see here, kind of a military green with a red stripe in the middle. Do I personally like this strap coming with the watch? No. This is absolutely a cool watch, I have to say, but I would never ever wear it with this green military textile strap. There is also a black fabric strap coming with it. Unfortunately, Tudor was not able to provide it to me in time, so I can't film it, but, 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 those who know me for a longer time, of course, are aware of the fact that I do very much like NATO straps, so I pulled out some NATO straps of my little collection, and I will show you the watch fitted with some other possibilities, and you will see, and probably agree, end of the video, that this green military strap is probably nice to make that link to the military, of course, we do know that uh, history-wise, um, this watch is a watch that goes back in the 50s when Tudor was providing watches to the US Navy, etc., etc. But <clears throat> why do we always have to see this kind of green color when it comes to military? Stay tuned to see some other options, how you probably could wear the watch, and yeah, then in the comment section, please share your thoughts with me, tell me, which of the possibilities is the one you liked the most? 
I just mentioned it before, as early as the mid 50s, Tudor diving watches were being tested and evaluated by a number of outfits inside the US Navy. And it was in 1958, they were officially adopted by the Navy and purchased, purchased, yes, they had to buy them for the purpose of issuing them to divers operating in various units as the Navy SEALs, etc., etc. And this Pelagos you do see prominently on your screen FXT model is a spiritual successor of those watches. And where comes the name FXD from? It comes from fixed strap. So from the word fixed, you eliminate the letter E and I, and then you get from fixed FXT. So this is why the watch is called FXT. And yeah, what does this mean? We have uh, seen it before. There are no spring bars, etc. The logs, as you see them again here, and the spring bar and the way how you fix the strap are part of the case that, by the way, is machined out of one piece of titanium, as Tudor says. So you slide through and this, of course, gives more security and there is no risk if uh, the watch or the diver or the Navy SEAL, whoever was using the watch or is today using the watch, have the problem that the watch loses its strap, that's almost impossible to do. I think first your arm will be harmed before this construction will fail. The Pelagots FXT represents a modern high performance robust take on the famed Milsup short for military submariner of yesterday. So it is visually most in line with the late 60s area of the Tudor Oyster Prince submariner and the famous reference 76 and the watch you see on your screen incorporates elements from the US military specification for diving watches such as I said it before the fixed spring bars and do not forget yes the snowflake and that is also now integral part of the Pelagos watches. Price-wise, this Tudor, as you see it on your screen, is sold in Austria, including 20% VAT for 4,120 euro. I repeat that, 4,120 euro. I have to say this is a spectacular offer. This is really lots of value for the money you get. First of all, it's Rolex quality all over, as much as they can implement for the price. Of course, there is a difference to a Rolex, but still, you have to say, the quality of a Tudor today is very, very good. It is a cool watch. It is extremely good looking, in my humble opinion, if you take away this green <laughs> strap. Yeah, I know some of you will now say, but Alexander, the strap is still cool. I love green. Okay, yes, I just have, look, in the back here, there are some options. There are some options here, and I will show you how you could wear the watch by just using some natos you can buy easily online or in your city. So, 4,120 is a very good offer, especially because you get it with that green strap plus a black one, but unfortunately, Tudor did not provide it to me. So, okay, I have to say, you should have probably done it because now <laughs> I am taking off uh, the strap and what I will do, I will just quickly show you one after the other one, the watch now coming for instance with a combination I very much like, look, black and white reflecting perfectly colors. On your screen now my absolute favorite combination of those NATO straps I have in-house. This is the way I would probably wear my... Yeah, there's my cat running through the picture. <laughs> it is a NATO I bought for a couple of euros. Well made. Okay, these are polished. The surface of the case is matte. I know it doesn't match, but still, I know that these straps are also available with matte loops. Absolutely no reason to say, oh, you can't combine these things. You can. Look, look how cool this Tudor looks like with this black and white nut. Really a perfect fit in my humble opinion. Since this nut strap is perfectly matching the bright white of the dial and the matte black 
of the dial as well. But, 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 if you say no, too much, let's look. Gray, now with black loops and a black pin buckle. This Pelagos looks gorgeous with this combination. And you all know um, how to slide through Donato. You do it, uh, here is the loop. I have to go through quickly. So now look, is this cool? This is particularly cool. And you see how the watch perfectly sits on my wrist, looks good with those black loops and the black pin buckle. This could, could be a perfect combination. Now, if you prefer something more gray, this is now gray. It is not an auto strap. It is a fabric strap with a very simple pin buckle, but who cares? It's about the coolness, how the watch looks cool. And I have to say, yo, 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 yo. Look, not adding so much thickness as Enato does, because Enato, you always have it twice underneath. Looking gorgeous too. So could also be a choice for you if you wish to do some changes. To remind you, the distance in between the logs is 22 millimeters, or whatever you are trying to fit in there should be yeah, 21, 22 millimeters. This is something really special I'm showing you right now because the NATO you are seeing here is, <laughs> yes, I'm coming into your picture, a NATO strap belonging to my Blancpain 50 Fathoms. But, but, but I have to say, look, look how beautifully this black strap matches or goes with that Pelagos from Tudor. Yes, forget what is written here. Forget Blancpain. Imagine that it was written Tudor here. The matte surface of the loops is perfect. Yeah, it is almost as it would have been done for this Tudor. Other YouTubers would have made a clickbaiting exercise out of it with an own video, how Blancpain saved the Tudor or something, and all of you would have clicked on it. This is the possibility how you could wear the watch. No clickbaiting exercises at Watch Advisor. We don't do such silly things. We just show you the things as they are and how it is looking like with a full black tissue strap. Nicely done here with some leather being applied on it. Looking good. Let us go back one second and show you again the green one. Is it really your choice? In the comment section, let's discuss. I told you 22 is the distance in between the locks. What colors would you apply and which is your favorite combination of the ones I just have been showing to you? Here is the Tudor Pelagos FXT with the original, as they call it, flagship strap. So this is the strap they want the watch to be shown and sold. Additionally, if you buy the watch for 4,120 euro, you get the black strap that is very close to the look of the one you saw from my 50 Fathom. So the watch looks very cool with it. But for me, the Mr. Cool combination would be black and white. This is my favorite combination, how I would wear the watch. Anyhow, whatever you do, comments, please comments, take the comment section and let me read everything you want to tell me. 4,120 euro, a very good offer, a beautifully executed watch, well done. Readability couldn't be better, that's simply stunning, I have to say. I have not encountered or not seen a watch that I would have said the readability is as good as it is on this watch. It's simply incredible. Thanks for watching this video. Please share comments. Last thing I do ask you, we have just been restarting our Instagram channel. Everything is new there. Lots of attention being put on there. Please subscribe to our Instagram channel if you want to follow us on Instagram. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now from Watch Advisor, where the watchers are the stars.